today, um, we have a couple of things that I, we're going to do. First and foremost, my thought was that all of you would have had for me your images done. They were due on Friday. And you would have also at this point uploaded your image to the um, Embrace the Shake critique that we're sharing from the 19th. And so if you can follow along, you can see this all on your screen. This is how it will work. I'll do it on the screen and you'll watch me. Um, and so the in project critique, as you recall, was once you're done with the assignment, you're going to upload your image, the post embrace the shake activity, and then the pre embrace the shake activity. You're going to put your name at the top of the picture and you're going to give us a little description about what we're seeing. And then amongst you guys, each of you would comment on three of your fellow artists artworks. And so when the morning began, we were at slide 14 though the first three were mine, so we really have 11. There's seven more people who need to upload an image to this page. Um, part of the plan is I wanna take a look at what you did. I wanna kind of put closure on this unit so that we can move forward with a new unit. Um, and I'm still missing seven images. Now, whether that's people aren't done or not, I don't know, but I can't really do a critique unless I have them all. And so if you're one of the seven people who have not uploaded images, and I can tell you who you are, you're supposed to upload an image of the finished project, the post Embrace the Shake, and an image of the pre Embrace the Shake project so we can make a comparison. And then your classmates, three other people, please don't add a, a place. So like Lily, you added a place for a comment, but I only want three per person, if I recall. I thought I changed this one to just three per person. Oh, I guess not. We got four. I'm not sure we're going to be able to cover everybody if we get four people on here because I don't know that that worked out last time. So from here on out, if there's four, um, I only want three comments on there. There shouldn't be four. I thought I took off one. If there's three, move on to a different one because I don't want anyone to not get comments. But if you're one of the seven who did not post, and you can, please try and get it done. I want to come back and look at these at about, a, originally I was going to say 11.15, but it might be a little later now because it looks like it's about 20 till. Um, to, but like at 11.20, I'd like to come back and give us 45 minutes to take a look at what you did and see if really you made a change. If you have not commented on people's, I want you to come back and make some comments on people's. But you can't comment if there's nothing here. There are some new ones, so they should be able to be accom accommodated. Some of you have already put up the images. Some of you have already put in some comments, so you're okay. You don't need to go back and do this. But the Embrace the Shake critique is the first place to start, please. Um, get it done, because at about 11.20, I want to take a look at what you've got. I have not graded these. They were due by the end of the day Friday. I haven't even had a chance to look at them. I figured we might need a few more days till you guys go home before we could officially say we're good and I can start grading. If you have an issue, you need to let me know about it. Um, but it does look like people were wrapping it up and getting it finished. And then for this assignment underneath modules, you know, you have to submit that whole sketchbook through the module assignment and then I will be able to go in and get the grades from there. So underneath assignments, make sure that you are also submitting the sketchbook, not just this page, but that you are literally submitting your sketchbook. Before I explain this, let me tell you one other thing. I'm giving you a homework assignment right now for Wednesday, whether you're here or you won't be, nobody will be here on Wednesday. I need you to find some things at home. And so I'm going to, Stop this for one minute. I'm going to stop the way I'm presenting this. I'm going to stop this presenting. So now you should see me back on the screen, correct? Yeah. Is that what you guys see? All right, so I'm giving you a homework assignment. I'm asking you guys to look around your house and find some things that you can use as an extender, an extender to make something longer, to extend something. So it might be just like a paint mixing stick or a ruler if you have a ruler. 
It could be a wooden spoon or a plastic spoon or a spatula or something else from the kitchen that could be used. I might go in my dad's garage or my dad's basement or my mom's garage or my mom's basement because moms do this too and just find a piece. This is just a piece of scrap wood <clears throat> from my husband's garage. He's a woodworker, so we always have little scraps around the house. Or it could even be, I could just go in my yard. We're getting to the end of the leaves and stuff, but you can find some branches and it could be an extender to something. And so my assignment for Wednesday is each of you needs to have one or two things that we can call an extender, okay? And then I'm gonna also ask, because it's an extender, can you also locate or have available to you some masking tape or some rubber bands or some string or something that would allow me to attach this to something, but not forever because my mom's not going to be happy if I take her spatula and ruin it and never be able to give it back to her. So some way that we would be able to do some attaching for temporary use, but not permanent. All right, so does that make sense to everyone what I'm asking you to do? Just a couple of things. One or two things would be good. Um, this is also one, if you don't remember it till Wednesday morning, you would have time to find what I'm asking for. All right, oh, sorry, gotta do one last thing. I gotta go back to presenting one more time. Gotta present my screen one more time. Share that with you. Okay, so. Today, what are we going to do today? So if you're all done and you've done everything you needed to for Embrace the Shake, then today we're going to do this play for a while. Um, this will be worth 15 points. I'm asking you to do three different little videos. So I put together, I found a website I like, and I'm going to ask you to click the link, and it's going to bring you to YouTube. And on this YouTube, there are a plethora, which means a ton of them, abundance of them, videos, on how in drawing you can create this illusion, optical illusions in space and drawing. And there are lots of videos that have been put on here. And I want you to just kind of look through any of these that seem pretty cool and watch the video. And then I'm gonna ask you, out of all of these things, can you do some drawings that show me you could in fact copy or incorporate this illusion of, uh, in your drawing? They don't have to be major masterpieces. Most of these things, most of them are done with pencil or marker, which I know you have because I gave it to you. Um, some of them use color pencil or color marker. I am not necessarily getting nitpicky and things like that, but I want to know that you can follow along and create something. I love the paint on the hand trick. I love the one when you did the zipper. Some of you did the zipper when you were an art one on your hand. That whole illusion, so this is like one of those tricks where it makes it look like one thing. So I'm going to ask you each to try three different ways to play with illusion in a drawing. And I've got some videos here. If you're done with Embrace the Shake, then you can use this to look at. If you don't have time to get to this, there will be more time to get to this. This assignment... Um, is available from now, and it's going to be available until December 4th, and I'm not going to be trying to grade these until November 27th, which is a week from this Friday. So if you finish up um, on Wednesday, with Wednesday's activity, you can come back to this, but we're going to play around with how do you use illusion in a drawing to do some cool things, and so there are some really cool videos. All right, so does that make sense what I'm asking everybody to do? You just do it on a page in the sketchbook paper. A lot of these people do it on notebook paper. I don't really care what you do it on, but you are going to show me the different attempts at illusion. I am certainly okay if you find one that just you can't get away from and you want to try it numerous different ways. I'm okay, but I'm asking you to try it three different times to create the illusion, the optical illusion that this artist is presenting.